Okay, here we got a 2015 Mercedes-Benz E350 with the 3.5 V6. And so this, co or this car had a code for um, ignition coil D, which is cylinder four. So on this side, it's one, two, three, which is A, B, C. And then uh, five, or four, five, six, uh, D, E, F. Um, so D is going to be this one, which I just took out. So I just got it out. As you see, I didn't take anything apart. I like a bunch of videos say you have to pull the manifold and you have to do all this for this one. And maybe even the other ones, you can get them out without having to remove the manifold. So what I did is there is, um, first I cut the zip ties on this, on the wires, or this is the only wire you have to cut the zip ties on. There's two zip ties right here on the front and which go on that little bracket or clip and that little clip. And you have to, the videos I saw said to pull the clip. Don't do that. It's way easier. Just cut the zip tie. And then when you put it back on, you just thread a new zip tie in through the little hole on the clip. So you don't mess with taking the clips off, just cut the zip ties. And then there's another one uh, right back here for the bigger uh, wires that come off the computer. So all you have to do is cut the, cut the zip ties off this cable. And there's one back there on the bigger cables. And then the whole EC or the whole computer, it's just on little like grommet clips. You just put like one hand down at the bottom and you just pull up and it just pops right out. And then you fold it off to the side like this and just set it up here um, and it stays out of the way. And then you come down here, you have to have an E8, uh, you have to have an E8 socket to get the bolts out for the, um, for the actual ignition coil. And then when you, uh, and then also these clips, I had a terrible time getting them off and it's probably because this car is just old and these coils have never been replaced before. Um, so I just sprayed a tiny little bit of WD-40 at the top. And then once I did that, it came right out. Um, and then once you get everything disconnected and the bolts taken out, then on these, because they're at an angle, you have to make sure not to pull on them. Otherwise you'll rip this top part and mess it up if you plan on keeping them to replace the spark plugs or whatever. So what I did is there's a little ledge right there, like a little bump. I put a zip tie around it and then just pulled up on the zip tie with some needle nose pliers and it pops straight out, no issues. So that's how you get that out. And yeah, so as you can see, I just took out the ignition coil for cylinder four or ignition coil D as it says on like the engine code and I did not remove any of this.